Hello again, this is Steve Bishop, and I'm going to be continuing our series in Programming in Access 2013. Uh, again, we're still working in the database, and today we're going to be talking about relationships between the different tables. So far, we've entered in our data. Uh, we've organized it a little bit as far as our addresses, and I'm going to show you today how you actually map those relationships between those different tables. So let's get started. Okay, here's where we left off last time. We had uh, our ID for this particular entry, customer ID, address, type ID, attention to Joe Schmo, address, information, and this again corresponded back to our customer ID of one, which is Metro Properties, and address type, you'll notice address type here, ID of one, shows that the address type is office, sort order of one. Okay, so all that's done, and we're right now, as far as how everything relates to each other, it's just in our minds. Nothing really has been told to access how this information uh, relates to each other. So how do you do that? Well, if you go up here to the database tools, there's a section here called relationships. And you'll see it says this is how you define the data in tables, is how it's related, such as ID fields or name fields in different tables that should match. If we click on this, what we get is a little wizard here that pops up with our current tables, queries, and both. And we'll get into queries uh, in, a, in another section of this video series. But for right now, what we're interested in is our customers and our addresses. Um, and then I'll also include the address types. And the way I select these, I'm holding down the control key to select them. And you can uh, obviously just you know select one at a time. You can add one and then add the next one, or you can add two, etc. Uh, if you click on it twice, you'll see that they're, they're, it actually shows up as the same table twice. Um, in some cases, that's going to be important to do, but for right now, that's, that's something you don't really need to worry too much about. So I'm going to arrange my tables here, and this is just a, a small little graphical uh, look to our our database and some of the tables that we have. You'll notice not all the tables are here. I don't have the employees table or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and make this a little longer so you can see it. It's a little shorter and make this a little shorter also. So here we can see our table one customers, our table one addresses, and our table address types. Now, the way you make your relationships is you select the field that either your primary field, your primary key field, or your foreign key field. And for our customers, I'm going to say I'm going to take the ID, and I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to start moving it around. And as I'm holding down the mouse key, I can drag it around, and I can select any one of these other fields on either of these two tables that I want to take this ID and say, there's a relationship between this ID field and what other field am I going to relate it to? Well, that would be the customer ID field in the table one addresses. So I'm going to I'm going to drag it over to the customer ID and I'm going to let go of the mouse and we get this little edit relationships window. Now, I'm not going to get into these enforced referential integrity. There's uh, there's there's some information on here you need to know. Um, first of all, the table or the table or query is table it's coming from table one customers the ID is ID or the, uh, the the primary key is ID in the table one customers table the foreign key is customer underscore ID in the table one addresses and these can be flip-flopped it could be you know table one addresses is over here on the left and table one customers is on the right there's really it doesn't really matter a whole heck of a lot which one is on which side just so long as it knows that they these are the two different ones and if you need to change your selection because you got it wrong you can click on this drop down and select a different um, field from that table that you want to make the relationship on but this is in this case the correct one um, and you'll notice that I had this relationship time type down here on the bottom called one to many, which for right now I'm, I'm just is just basically a way to say that this data relates to each other. So there can be one um, there can be a one to many relationship between the customer, the addresses, and a customer. So a customer can have uh, 
many addresses, but there's only one only um, one customer is going to have those addresses. You see, there are other different types of relationships that you can have. There's many to many. There's one to one. Uh, in our particular case, one to many is correct. I will have one customer with many addresses. Okay, this one customer will have many addresses. Just remember that. Over here on the right, we have create, cancel, join type, and create new. I'm going to click on this join type, and this is where we can say um, we have basically three different options where you only want to include rows where the join fields from both tables are equal. Okay, You include all records from table 1 customers and only those records from table 1 addresses where the join fields are equal or include all records from table 1 addresses and only those records from table 1 customers where the join fields are equal. That may sound a little confusing to you right now but just let's think about this for just a moment. If I want to show some information to a customer or to whoever the user is of this database, to an employee, and I want this data to show up to them, I may want circumstances where um, there may be a time where I have a customer name but I haven't yet gotten their address yet. But I still want that customer to be available to the employee. Maybe this is the example where I want them to, maybe I want to bring up a screen where this is the screen where they are going to be entering the address. They should still be able to select the customer. So in that particular case, I want to include all records from the customers table and only those records from the addresses table where the join fields are equal. So this is basically saying when I have a customer selected, I want to show only the addresses that I have selected that match to the customer that I've selected. So when I select Metro Properties, I want only the addresses from the Table 1 addresses that match that particular client. Okay, I hope that makes sense. It'll probably make a little bit more sense as we actually uh, organize our data and get more data into it and start developing our interfaces. But for right now, what you need to understand is that it's really important to filter out th what information we put in our table one addresses because uh, you know we only want those addresses that match that particular customer we've selected so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do we're gonna and this is what's called a left join for right now and, and we'll get into that later when we get into queries it'll make more sense but so here we've set up our relationship I'm gonna go ahead and click on create and you'll notice that we now have this arrow that points starts from ID and points to the customer ID. You see that? It goes ID and then customer ID. Okay. Now, I do want to make sure, I'm going to say address ID, uh, address type ID matches up to the ID here. And you'll notice that it automatically detected, well, wait a minute, uh, there's, there's some neat little things that Access has done here. Notice that I selected address type and I dropped it onto the ID field. Because I named it ID and then gave it address type underscore ID this is because I've used good good practice with naming my columns so access is able to automatically understand that this is actually the primary key of this table and this is the foreign key of the uh, table one addresses table and this time my join type is going to be only include rows where the join fields from both tables are equal so I'm only going to show um, the tables. I'm, I'm going to only going to. I'm always going to show uh, the data where there's actually an ID that matches in the address type to what I have in the table one addresses. Okay. Uh, again, we'll see that a little bit later when I actually start putting in some data and we start dealing with the data from a user perspective and and querying it and getting information back. So as you can see, this is how we basically have our relationship. This is how we tell Access how this information is related. Uh, you go again into the designer. So you go into the database tools, you click on relationships button. That'll give you this relationships uh, tab where you can start to drag and drop your different fields and make them relate to one another and show how everything is then related. Okay. 
I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. Um, I will be getting a little bit more in-depth into some things, but you, this should pretty much give you a good start on how to organize your data and set up those relationships for, uh, data, uh, for relational databases.